Institute's new recordings suggest that ex-Post Office CEO Paula Venels was aware of a unit that could access sub-postmasters' accounts remotely in 2013. This is what we learned. The chair of the Business and Trade Committee said they'll explore all options available to sanction Venels for misleading Parliament on the matter in 2015, where she denied that remote access was possible. Well, Solicitor Albert Harwood joins us now. Welcome back, Albert. It's, Thank uh, you it's very much. wonderful to talk to you, but I'm always uh, you know, sad that it's under these circumstances. Can you just... Give us um, a brief explanation of what the latest is in this story. I was just going to say, this is like Groundhog Day. Yeah. It was only a few days ago that we were talking about the other revelations yes. and, and we're back where we are. Um, so, yeah, there are further revelations. These are tape recordings, uh, recordings of uh, conversations uh, between members of the post office. Um, and it was prior to a meeting with Lord of Uthnot. Um, and it demonstrates to us the knowledge that Paula Venels had, so that they're referring to the knowledge of Paula Venels right. prior to the meeting. And who, who took this recording, was it? Um, to be honest with you, I think it was a recording as how the meeting was done um, electronically, mm. is my understanding. Uh, some of the things we've learned, uh, quotes here, she's got everything. Uh, the way I've tried to brief Paula is, as soon as I have evidence that you know there is a problem, she knows about it the next minute. This puts um, the claims that Paula Venels has previously made that she didn't have uh, prior knowledge of this uh, under extreme scrutiny. You know, how much credibility do you think she has? Uh, I think she has no credibility. Um, mm. I think everybody knows that. Now, the fact that she's had to give up her um, her award um, just demonstrates that even she appreciates that it, it's common knowledge now. Um, and as I say, this is following on from the, the Bramble report, uh, which we were talking about, that came out last mm. week, saying the same thing. This is now where her people uh, are basically confirming what we've been saying and what the um, the reports have said. So you represent 75% of the sub-postmasters who are uh, involved in, in the public inquiry. Have you managed to speak to any of them about this latest revelation? Um, I've spoken to a couple of people. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, anger, I think, is mm. people calling for prosecutions um, and for steps to be taken now, which I completely understand. With the police, my understanding is that normally they'll be running their investigation alongside the inquiry, but I mean, if there is evidence, then obviously they should be taking steps to, to uh, arrest and prosecute. Wow. How does this change the strength of your case? Um, I mean, in a sense, with the inquiry restarts next week um, and there'll be more evidence. So things we've been saying from the beginning, so when we're questioning, the, the, the big guns are coming now at the inquiry. So it, it gives more ammunition. So when we're asking the witnesses about what they knew, it's harder for them to say they don't remember, or which is what often they do respond, um, saying. I mean, you, you've got it split into different bits. You've got the inquiry, which is, is establishing the facts yeah. of what happened. Um, and then you've got the police who are obviously looking at the criminal side um, mm. of matters. And then you've also got Parliament, I suppose, now as well. And just to fill people in, if they weren't familiar with this specific part of the story, um, Venels has denied that um, the sub-postmasters um, accounts or computers could be accessed remotely. So this is people who were told that they were in a deficit and they had to make up the, the rest of the money themselves. And they were repeatedly told, there's no error, this can't be accessed with any, by anybody else. It is your fault. Actually, Paula Venels was told that somebody else could access that system. So in the two years between her finding out that piece of information, how many sub-postmasters could have escaped injustice if she'd been honest? I mean, to be honest with you, I'm not sure of the exact figures, but I, I mean, it's very high. I mean, I think it's all, all around 800 people were prosecuted. 800? Over the, the period. period, for the whole period from wow. when this started. Um, so we're talking about a lot of people in that period of time as well. Sure. Um, and just even, obviously, morally, why... I mean, the question is, we still don't understand why would somebody, a human being, do this? Why would they prosecute people? It, I mean... When they knew the stakes were so high. Yeah. Uh, and, and you're just doing something... The, the, what did they gain from it? I mean, obviously, there is the, the issue that money was then recouped from these people. Either they were prosecuted or in the courts civilly. Mm. And, and that money, we understand, has gone back into the coffers of the post office, which would have been then shared with the, the directors of the post office at that time. Of course. The, the wider context of this, Albert, if you are someone who is awaiting sort of compensation, your, your name might have been cleared and the public now know, oh, my goodness, those people that were vilified had done nothing wrong, quite the opposite. Um, 
status of compensation, where, where actually is that? Are these people properly being looked after to say, right, we've cleared your name, but now actually financially need to be looked after here? I mean, the compensation, it, it's slow. I mean, people have been waiting 20 years, you know, since, um, and they're still, they're still waiting. Um, and the, the, the post office seemed to be arguing every step of the way in terms of the claims that people, uh, like Mr Bates, for example, was recorded. Yeah. Uh, he made a claim, he provided all the evidence, forensic evidence, uh, medical evidence, which should be enough. Um, and it was still being argued against by the post office. So I think that just demonstrates. Yes. Well, thank you so much for joining us.